All right, guys, this problem, it says right standard form of a circle that has a diameter with endpoints negative 8, 8, and 0, negative 4. So let's think about this for a second. What is this saying? If I have a circle, right, and I have a diameter of a circle, that means it's going to go from one side to the other and right through the center. Okay, and so this gives me these endpoints of the diameter, which is like here and here, if this is just kind of a general circle. All right, so what I need to do with that is I'm going to take those endpoints if I find the midpoint using my midpoint formula, that's going to give me the center, all right? Then what I can do is take the center and one of the two um, endpoints of my diameter and find that distance, and that's going to be a radius, all right? So let's do that. Let's first take my two endpoints. I'm going to use the midpoint formula, and we're going to find the center, okay? So if I plug it into my formula, x2 plus x1, that's going to be 0 plus a negative 8, divided by 2, that's my x-coordinate, and then y2 plus y1, or negative 4 plus 8, divided by 2, that's my y-coordinate. This is negative 8, divided by 2 is negative 4, and then over here this is 4, divided by 2 is 2, okay? Now I'm just going to label this as center, right? The midpoints, again, of those two uh, endpoints of the diameter is the center of the circle. And what I need to do with the center now is I'm going to take it and put it over here, negative 4, 2. I'm going to call that my x1, y1. I'm going to use one of my two endpoints. I like this one a little bit better. It's going to be my x2, y2. Because now if I have the center, right, the center to one of those endpoints is going to be the radius, r. So I have to use the, the distance formula to find that distance and using these two points here. All right, so that's gonna be D equals the square root. And then if I put it into my formula, X2 is zero uh, minus X1, so minus a negative four is plus four, quantity squared uh, plus Y2 minus Y1, so negative four minus two, again, quantity squared. And what does this give me? Well, this is now D equals the square root of 4 squared, which is 16, plus over here, negative 4 minus 2 is negative 6 squared, which is 36. 16 plus 36 is 52. So this is going to be D equals the square root of 52. And what we can do is just leave it like this, because remember, this is the radius. Oops, radius. And if I have a radius, the standard form of a circle has the radius squared. So eventually we're just going to square this and those square and square root cancel. I'll show you what I mean in a second. So I'm going to take my center and we're going to go x minus my x1 or x minus the x value of my center. So minus a negative 4, the x plus 4. Quantity squared plus y minus my y value of the center, which is minus 2 quantity squared equals, and this needs to be r squared. Well, remember from before, r, the radius, is the square root of 52. So the square root of 52 squared is just going to be 52 without a square root. All right, now this is the standard form of that circle. It has endpoints of a diameter, negative 8, 8, and 0, negative 4.